Hi everyone, Rania here from Rania On Demand. So in today's video, I'll be talking to you about the benefits of being a mature student. So, what exactly is a mature student? Well, I did a super quick Google search, and according to Wikipedia, obviously the most reliable source on the internet, a mature student is someone who is older and is involved in some sorts of learning, and they have some kind of experience. So mature students don't always have high school diplomas, but there are, but there are also many others who are going back to school to either finish a degree or to earn a new one. So according to Wikipedia, a mature student is someone who is older and is going back to school. But at what age are you considered older? Who knows? So I clicked out of Wikipedia and I did some more in-depth research and I found that in most Canadian universities, to be considered a mature student, you must be 19 or 21 years of age or older. And some schools state that you must have never attended university in the past, whereas other schools say that you must have not been enrolled as a full-time student for a certain number of years. Basically, what I gathered from this in-depth research is that the requirements of a mature student really just kind of depend on what university you're going to. But for the sake of this video, we're going to go with Wikipedia's Mickey Mouse definition because I'm older, I'm experienced, and I'm going back to school for another degree. I didn't take the accelerated nursing program, I actually started from scratch, which means that many of my classmates are actually quite a bit younger than me, like fresh out of high school. I'm not even kidding, my pet bird is older than some of my classmates. I know I'm not old old, like whatever you consider old to be, but I'm not all that young either. And going back to school, it was a little strange for me in the beginning and I couldn't help but compare myself to a lot of the people around me. I'd look at my friends, many of whom are well into their careers, they're really successful and they're established. And then I'd look at my classmates, many of whom are so young, like fresh out of school and at the beginning of their studies. And then I just think about how they'll be finished school at a younger age than what I am now. Like, does that make sense? Like when we begin our careers as new grad nurses, most of these guys are gonna be like only around 23, whereas I'm gonna be in my mid 30s. And this really, really bothered me. After a bit of self-reflection and comparing my experience in school now to my experience in school back then, I realized that being a mature student actually comes with a lot of benefits, like motivation. Deciding what you want to do with your life is not easy, trust me, I know. And many of those entering post-secondary straight out of high school, like, they don't know what they're doing with their lives either. At such young ages, they're forced to pick a major, and oftentimes that major that they choose is not their passion, and they're just doing it because society says they have to go to school, or their parents are forcing them to go to school, or just, like, whatever. But oftentimes, they, they don't know what they want to study. But now, as a more adultier adult, you probably have a more defined and clear idea of what it is that you want to do and why you're studying. And I'm not saying that all 17 and 18 year olds are unmotivated and they don't know what they want to do, but I was unmotivated and I didn't know what I wanted to do. I hated what I studied in my undergrad, therefore I did the absolute bare minimum to get by. But now that I'm older and I found what interests me, I better understand the importance of my education and I'm so, so motivated to get the qualifications that I need to begin this new career path that I've chosen. I think that the second benefit that comes with being a mature student is the appreciation for your education. Um, I think this kind of goes hand in hand with motivation though because now that you've found something that you're interested in and possibly something that you even find fulfilling, you're going to want to learn and you're going to be excited to learn because it really, it makes you feel great. Like honestly, I was upset with myself on the days that I missed class because it felt like I was missing out on something exciting. As an older student, I think you definitely have a better appreciation for your education and that's a great thing because it's going to make you that much more determined to succeed. As a mature student, you also have a higher sense of responsibility. After spending some time in the working world or raising a family or whatever it is that adults do, you tend to become more responsible. It just, it happens, you grow up. You've already done the whole going out and partying thing, so socializing likely won't be a distraction for you. You've probably become somewhat better at time management and organization, and at this point, you probably have learned how to better prioritize your tasks. And hopefully you've gained a bit of financial literacy along the way. Knowing how to save, budget, and invest are incredibly important life skills to have. And as a student, you're probably not going to be working full time anymore. So hopefully by now you've learned how to make your money grow and how to make your money last. To sum it all up, the biggest advantage to being a mature student is the life experience that you're going to bring with you into your learning. The places you've been, the people you've known, the jobs you've held, the life you've lived. These are all incredibly valuable experiences that will without a doubt help to make you feel more relaxed in your studies and more motivated to excel in them. 
Pursuing an education is scary, but when you're of an older age and you have responsibilities or you have to put your life on hold, it's it's a different kind of scary. So for anyone who's considering going to school as a mature student and is nervous or hesitant about it, I really hope this video helped to give you a little bit of confidence and help to ease some of your worries. So that brings me to the end of this video. I really hope you liked it and I also really hope that you found some value in it. If you did, please give me a thumbs up and if you haven't already subscribed, please do. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.